This is a test of focus screen. I want to show what happens when we get this picture, or I can show it to you a couple different ways. This is the way it would look in Ubuntu. This is the way it looks in Linux Mint. It says the application wants access to the keyring default, but it's locked, and so it asks for the password. No matter what you put in here, it isn't going to work. And the best thing you can do is keep hitting escape and get out of it. The way to solve it is you need a utility called Seahorse. Now, you can check to see if it's on your system. And you can do it from a search. And if I just put in password down here, you'll notice that I've got something that comes up that says passwords and keys and that's what I was trying to find but I'll show you how to do it what you need to do is install Seahorse it's already installed on my computer so what you're going to need to do is copy this address sudo app install Seahorse and so what I'm going to do right now is try to drag this along here and get the whole thing in. Go and say copy and then open the terminal and type in or paste in that same command. sudo app install seahorse. Hit enter and it's going to want your supervisory password so put it in and it will look and if it's not installed it will install it and they'll probably say do you want to go ahead and you'll have to say hit enter to say yes and it will be installed since mine's already installed to the latest uh, version it's not going to upgrade it or change it. So that is in here. Let me show you where to find it in the menu. If you go to accessories and come down to password, you'll notice it's right here. If you open up the little utility, you're going to find it's already at login. Just right click there and click change password. Here you're going to have to put in your supervisory password that we used before with the terminal and click continue if you wanted to put in another supervisory password or a new one you could put it in here I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to put in anything here for it says the login key ring I'm going to leave them both empty and I'm going to hit continue You'll notice you get this screen that comes and says by choosing a blank password, your stored passwords will not be safely encrypted. They will be accessible by anyone who has access to your computer. And you have to realize that and then click continue. And now it's installed. Now you won't get these notices any longer. And hopefully that will help you.